Murder defendant Shara Wright changed her tune today, admitting she not only helped plan, but witnessed the murder of her ex-husband, a favorite son of Memphis and star basketball player Lorenzen Wright. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. Katina has the night off. As part of this plea deal, Shara avoids a potential jury conviction and could be eligible for parole within 10 years. Actually, less than that for good behavior. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders live at 201 Poplar for us tonight. Brad? Richard, both Cheryl Wright's attorneys and prosecutors said they're satisfied with today's plea deal. For Lorenzo Wright's family, today's court proceedings here provided some closure, even though Cheryl Wright could be a free woman as early as 2026. Emotions remain raw for Lorenz and Wright's grandmother. Nearly nine years to the day, someone found her grandson's body riddled with bullets in this southeast Memphis field. This is obviously a violent offense, an offense that's torn apart family. This morning, Lorenzen's family realized some justice in this nearly decade-long saga when Wright's ex-wife, Shara, pleaded guilty for her role in the murder. This is a guilty plea they 100% supported. In the deal, the 48-year-old pleaded guilty to two counts, facilitation of first-degree murder and facilitation of attempted first-degree murder. There have been some negotiations over the past few weeks. After Judge Lee Coffey sentenced Shara to 30 years, Lorenz and Wright's mother, Deborah Marion, spoke directly to her. And I'm ready for them to come back to the home with their family. That's how I miss the plea deal means Shara Wright avoids a potential life sentence had she been convicted by a jury. The evidence wasn't insurmountable, but there were it was problematic. Instead, with 19 months of jail credit and good behavior in prison, Wright could be eligible for parole in a little more than seven years. Uh, the fact that this charge uh, has parole eligibility, uh, what that means is there'll be parole hearings. Doesn't mean that they'll be granted. Now, it's up to the Tennessee Department of Corrections to decide which prison Shara Wright will serve out her sentence. Shara Wright is now a convicted felon. That means she'll no longer be allowed to vote and she'll no longer be allowed to own a gun or ammunition. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brian Brodus, Local 24 News.